the top three coins that can easily do times 10. What's up guys, Stefan here. Welcome to All Coin Picks. I want to thank everyone for your continued support. And if you like the content of our videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. So let's get started. So occasionally I'll be introducing a new website in some of my videos that I believe is really helpful. If you're looking for a list of coin descriptions, this is a great website. Check it out guys, upfolio.com. This is just a reminder that this is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes and I can't stress enough how important it is for everyone to do their own research and to always take our coin picks with a grain of salt. This is not an endorsed video, so the content of today may not express the same views of the respective creators. I want to give a shout out to Jean for bringing this awesome coin to our attention, Dragon Chain. It has been consolidating for the past couple weeks, and me and Jean had to make a video about Dragon just as we were expected, and it delivered it. Don't want to phone anyone, but I've never recommend anyone to buy pumps, but look at this chart. I can't help but imagine when all these great projects start releasing their platforms and have real world use. I mean, you can see right here that the volume in the last couple of days have been insane. It actually has been higher than when it actually started pumping from the start. It's great price action. So I'll start with the smallest market cap out of the three coins we're going to be talking about today. Aspire. Aspire is an enterprise solution aiming to achieve the relief of human and manual processing fees through an internal spending management software. It's actually been just launched after ICO. It's been a couple months already hit the market and the price has only gone lower and lower. Here's why I believe Aspire has to offer. Here are some facts about Aspire. The company was financially funded by one of the largest hedge funds in the world and they are operated by a very well-established company, LSG. And LSG currently works with clients such as Nike, Coca-Cola, and NFL. It has branches worldwide, London, India, and Australia. And now I'm gonna list some pros and cons. So here's are some pros. It's part of the enterprise Ethereum Alliance. So many coins are not even close to getting there. It's under ICO. Just to reach ICO price, it needs to do two and a half times its current value. It already has a platform and some strong partnerships with Etos, Hydro, TaxFile, and has some worldwide partners such as R3 and Microsoft. It's listed in multiple exchanges already, and it has some great advisors. Roger Veer, CEO of Bitcoin.com, Shingo Levine, CEO of Etos, great use of blockchain to store audible transactions and reporting data for transparent enterprise management. It's a utility token, not a security, so no SEC issues. The coins get burned as it gets used. So right there is an inflationary, deflationary system, which is actually a great plus for any coin in the market. So here's the list of cons. I'll summarize the cons with one word. Uninteresting. It's lackluster and it fails to have an incentive for holding. Aspire has one of the best business to business adoptions simply because it was designed to lower operational costs. But in essence, it will be best if the price would just remain low. Let's take a dive into reality. Aspire current price is 2.8 cents and the all time high was 26 cents almost. Just to reach to all-time high, it almost has to do 10 times. I can easily see this happening again in a bullish market. So keep an eye out for Aspire. So next in our list is Lemden, and it's a suite designed to speed up the process of creating new and custom blockchains and apps. The Lendum token connects these projects, allowing for universal swaps between blockchains and cryptocurrency pairs. Their main goal is to forward blockchain adoption and mainstream with an open source approach, allowing new users to benefit from blockchain, but remaining viable. Perfect example of this is being an ink cartridge to a printer. 
So the project is divided in three different sections. Saffron, which is a generating tool to deploy private chains on an internal network without any hassle. And then you have Flora, which is a central repository for smart contract packages and templates, private chain naming services, and blockchain discovery. And then you have Clove, which is a network that handles the payment channel that swaps process in between chains. So the project is divided in three different sections. Saffron, it is a generating tool that deploys private chains within the network and it offers interoperability. And then you have Flora, which is a hub for smart contracts templates. And you can profile and delegate private chains as well as a blockchain research portal. And then you have Clove, which is the network that handles all the atomic swaps in between chains. Let's talk about some pros and cons. So for some pros, they offer interoperability in between chains and up to 10,000 transactions per second. You can launch a blockchain in under 15 minutes for rapid development and deployment. They allow for atomic swaps for more than 150 different currencies. They have zero fees on transactions. For cons, they are not yet listed in a decent exchange. They have a very unknown team. They are possibly classified as a security and there is so much FUD in the streets. One of their core members of their team were, was forced to resign when he violated some terms of his contract, thanking the price. And then to make things even worse, when they were issuing a bonus for their ICO of 22%, they mistakenly issued 220% bonus instead. And as a result, the, the price tanked even further and the dev decided to burn 6 million tokens off of their own reserves, which has forced them to lead to a much higher standards of accountability. So now that the FUD has been cleared, here are the reasons why I believe Landum will do great. They are back on track and they have been far more transparent with their coin holders. And the best part is Landum still plans to deliver on their promise. If you look at the price at all time high, it was $1.73. And the current price right now is 7.4 cents, which is 95% build the price of all-time high just to reach all-time high it has to do 20 times that is actually another coin that i really want you guys to keep an eyes on and last but not least restart energy restart energy is an outsourced energy provided aiming to take its business model globally in their ecosystem people will be able to pay energy using their cryptocurrency mwatt so here's the list of pros and cons for pros Holders can franchise different regions generated passive income. They have a member of the U European Parliament as an advisor, Kathleen Soren Ivan. They have an established company with the highest grow growing record in the region of Romania. And they have a proven business model and their coin is backed by energy. You will require a substantial amount of MWA tokens to establish a new franchise, increasing the demand of the token and incentivizing holding. You can actually compare similar coins such as Paraledger and Empower, which have done very well in this market. So the list of cons, they are very under radar since the coin is established in Romania. The token is classified as a security because it pays dividends. It has a very extensive roadmap extending all the way to 2020. They have a very competitive space and expanding to new countries might present legal regulations and each country has their own regulation which could delay or hinder the roadmap. So Restart Energy was being sold on ICO for 10 cents and when it was listed in the market, it hit the market at 6.6 .6 cents and the current value is 2.6 cents. Just to hit all time high, it will have to double. But if you, if you take Powerledger's market cap, which is already four and a half times below its current value, it will have just that will, will do it 10 times. This will easily in a bullish market hit 10 times. So keep an eye on Restart Energy. 
Keep an eye on Lindum. Keep an eye on Aspire. I really believe these three coins will do great in a bullish market. I hope if you guys have any comments or any coins or ICOs you guys want me to talk about in the future, just hit the comment below and I'll keep an eye for those. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys next time.